Hey, what's up everybody? This is Visit Joan and welcome back to another house tour. Today we are going to be touring this little hut house that I built off camera for fun when I was just playing casually with island living and stuff like that. But anyway, it's built at the base of the volcano and I don't know why we're building houses at the bases of active volcanoes now. That just screams bad idea, but you know what? I don't I don't even know. Oh, look at the butterflies. Anyway, you guys. So, um I basically did this house to make it look kind of like a hut, like maybe like a traditional island hut kind of thing. I have no idea what I'm even talking about, but um, anyway, we have a family that lives here and um, not that much of a backstory here, but um, basically they were paired up in like a traditional matchmaking ceremony and they didn't really, you know, like each other all that much, but it turns out there was a baby on the way and so, you know, they had to marry. But anyway, we're going to look at the outside of this um, house here. We, we got a little sitting area here, and I figured the soil under the volcano is probably really, really good soil with a lot of nutrients, so there's a lot of gardening. Are those dandelions? Seriously, are there, like, actual dandelions in the stems? i got to get a picture of this, man. I mean, I mean, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Anyway, but over here we have a garden with some tropical plants and... You know, like, I don't even remember what plants these are. I just remember there's there's pineapple tree. There's something that's, like, out of season. Like, I'm keeping my game in summer right now because I'm doing a lot of recording. But um, we have some bushes over here. That's a really flattering shot right there. You know what? I, I, I haven't edited this yet because, basically, I am on a time frame and I have the opportunity to record. So I am going to take it. But you can see all the little landscaping outside of the house. There's nothing much to see in the backyard because there isn't much of a one. It's not that big of a lot. But we're going to head back around to the front. You can see there's the beautiful ocean. And we're going to go inside. And you can see here, here's like the slotted doors. I didn't put any curtains on it this time. But um, we go through here. We get like a little entryway. You can see like a bookshelf case thing there. Um... We've got a calendar and some music going on here. And first thing you notice is that there is a door right here. We got some family photos. We got Gino coming in. Hi, hey, what's going on, buddy? But um, we have like, you know, just little knickknacks and stuff just for display over here. And we have kind of like a little seating area in the entry with a little divider going on. But anyway, we are going to head through this door, and here's a bathroom. This is basically... Oh my goodness, that sink is filthy! Who, who cleans up after this stuff? I mean, seriously, when I loaded this lot, there were piles of laundry everywhere. I'm like, don't you people do your laundry? And this is why laundry in the Sims can be annoying. But anyway, you guys, we're going to head over here. We're actually going to go into this dining room now. This dining room is, like, blue. It's It's got a new light, which is really... Well, it's not a new light. It's new for me, because I always use the saucer lights, but... um. We got like wicker chairs. We got actually that was three rugs combined to make one rug. And I was going to put something at that. You know, never mind. Anyway, in here we have the kitchen. We have some shelving and some little herbs. And we have this, you know, beautiful tiled walls. And I was actually playing with the shelves and just like teal appliances. I know I make, I make teal rooms a lot, but I love that color. So just, you know. But we have, oh, and there's the stove hood. The stove actually caught on fire and they won't let me replace the stove hood. So it's going to stay burned for the time being. But anyway, I just love how there's like a matching wall without the tiles in it. It's like really cool. But anyway, now we're going to head, I think we're going to go in the living room. Yes, this is the living area of the living room. We have some cute paper lanterns here. We have like a TV in like a little, um, what, what the heck even is that? Like, would you call that like a stereo unit like I, I don't even know but it's something that was actually made out of kitchen cabinets as you can tell and here we have a beautiful colorful sofa right against the little dividing thing and we have um just a couple of like ottomans that you can sit on yeah this is kind of like li a little um recreation room we have just just the place where you can um you know play chess relax play on the computer like macy's doing over here and you know, there's Don't Wake the Llama, there goes Gino, he's going up the stairs, and I guess we're probably going to follow him because that's the only place left to go in this house. But, um, I actually made it kind of, like, open a little bit, which I feel like it's okay to do in Sulani because it's always warm and not really cold. And I don't know what is up with these roofs. The room, the room, um, 
feature is just so bugged. And now we're going to go upstairs and, oh, that, that's a dirty toilet. Okay, we, we need to clean up after ourselves here. We, apparently we can't potty train kids. But anyway, here we have a little balcony. It's rounded. I really like that. I learned how to do it. So I'm happy about that. I'm patting myself on the back right now. We have a beautiful sofa out here and a tray table. So this is a nice place where you can sit and relax and just enjoy nature or not. We go in here and it is a bathroom, just a really small plain bathroom. Nothing really fancy here. I usually don't make fancy bathrooms. I've kind of started to now a little bit, but um, yeah. But anyway, we have a little seating area over here and we have a little table, which I don't really have anything on it. I don't know why. I guess I was going to wait until they found some shells, but I have no idea what the heck is going on. We're going to go in here and this is the master bedroom. As you can see, it's all purple and just a little hint of blue here and there. Well, I think that the lamp is like the only one hint of blue. It's just like a little splash of color. But anyway, we got, we got the vanity table. Oh, look, the baby's sleeping. Shh. Okay. We're going to be quiet, but no, no, we're not. She can't hear us. But, um, we have, you know, just a little, um, what, 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 what do you even call that? Like a corner sofa? I don't even know. But we got, there's the roof just being stupid again. But anyway, we have this bed in this little canopy. I always wanted to do that. I love those things. And I think this just looks really, really cool. But we've got the adjoining bathroom here. Again, just a really simple bathroom. It's kind of got like pink tiles, I guess. I don't know why I chose that, but maybe just to go with the um, bedroom. But anyway, we're going to go back through here. There's only a couple more rooms to tour now. Oh, look, she's awake. Okay, so in here is the laundry room. It's also purple. We got a cute butterfly painting. We got a washing machine that is filled with laundry and we have like a little um, shelf with just knickknacks on it. We got a little, um, I don't even know what would be in that cabinet, laundry stuff. Like, I don't know, we got a towel over there. But anyway, last room in the house before I would have to expand it. But anyway, this is the toddler's room. You can see it's all blue. It's, you know, it's, it's a toddler boy's room. And I really, you know, kind of, oh, there he is. Oh, look at him. Look at Vincent. He's just adorable. Oh, now he's going to bed. Okay. Well, you have that dream eater right there. Kind of like to act like a dream catcher. Catch the bad dreams. You got some frogs. I just, it, kids' rooms are just really fun to make. But, um, you know, because you, you could just do a lot and make it look as ridiculous as you want. And it, it's a kids' room, guys. It just really doesn't matter. But he has a dollhouse. Because we don't do gender stereotypes here. So that's why he has a bunch of stuffed animals. He's a little boy. I mean, come on, guys. A bunch of toys, a little rabbit, a bookshelf, and that's pretty much it, you guys. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, consider subscribing, and that's going to be it. I'm going to be seeing you guys. Bye, everybody.